pissing out, okay? Right, in we go. What's been happening? So, it has fluctuating hot water. So obviously you do think it's a plate heat exchanger. I have got a diverter valve just in case, but it should be the plate heat exchanger. So I've put my temperature clamps on there. And so even though I've, um, I've run the hot water, the flow pipe is getting hot and the temperature at the tap is cool to warm and it's fluctuating, but this pipe isn't getting hot. The, the, uh, the flow pipe is though. So I've got the new bit here. Sorry, I'm in the dark, so I'm just using the torch on my phone. It comes with all the bits. I do hope this is the one because you have to use the serial number to order up all the bits and I think this is it and I ordered this offline from a site that I've never used before called DHS Spares. So if anyone has uh, used them before, let me know how it goes. But so far so good, they seem to be all right. I'm trying to put them somewhere safe. It's kind of difficult in here. And that's the second one. Then what you have as well is a couple clips. So on these ones, they're slightly different than some valence and um, ideals. You just pull this down, just like that. And there should be another one somewhere here. You just pull that down and that's it. So that now pulls forward and up. And you just pull it up and out of the way. Now, some of the bits are on here. So if I move the torch out of the way. Now, this is what you're looking for. The ABK at the beginning of the serial number. So when you're ordering parts, it will either say pre-ABK or um, ABK onwards. So some of the bits that I was ordering, they will say ABK onwards. So even though you've put in the GC number online, there will be different Logic Combi 30s that look exactly the same, kind of. Uh, so for instance, one of the, one of the uh, differences here, if we pull this down, just like that, over on this side, that's the major difference where that sensor is. Oop. I thought that was a spider on me. <laughs> I freaked out. Um, yeah, so that's one of the major differences there. And where the, uh, so some of these would have a motor there, one of the old school looking motors. And um, the diverter would be there as well. On this one, I believe the diverter is on this side, which you can see the motor there. So, yeah. What we need to do is we need to get to the back there and uh, take that plate heat exchanger out and hopefully it's not too difficult to do it looks as if i just need to just analyzing this it i've never done one of these before because i don't often work on ideals but it looks like i have to move this out of the way to get to that screw there which is fair enough seems easy enough and then i just need to undo that one there and from what it looks like that's all I need to do. Then, to be honest, I think I should be able to lift it up out of there. Um, so yeah, happy days. Let's uh, let's give that a go. Right. So drain down time. I'm going for this option because, to be honest, I don't fancy bending all the way down there. It's kind of a bit awkward. I'm just hoping this doesn't fill up too quickly. Right, that was quick and easy. So next thing I need to do is pump up this expansion vessel. And we're gonna... That, that, that hasn't done anything, so hopefully that's it. You know, just put a bit of 
fairy liquid or whatever you want on there. LDF is obviously better. And I'm gonna put everything inside there. So I'll take that off. I think it just pulls out just like that. All you need to do with this bit is twist it just what's that uh, clockwise so and it pings out right so water is off our side turn on the taps leave them on somehow managed to loss to lose my weary shirt so I don't know how that's happened but I'm gonna use my t-ball and I'm just gonna loosen that up and then what I'll do is I'll just give that a little little push get some of that water out Loosen that up just a smidge as well. And I can see some water running there. The PCB is protected, so we're just going to scoop up whatever water. And obviously, I've got protection underneath buckets and whatnot. But there's quite a bit running there, and it's all going to start spilling down here now. So we're just gonna catch it all. Right, so all I've done is pull this through and I'm just gonna let that drip down there. So all the water just have somewhere to go. So it's all, as you can see, dripping down there, which is absolutely fine with me. And just let it slowly and controlled leak. There's nothing else electrical that's getting wet here. All of this is protected. I mean, you can move it out of the way if you wanted to. You could have it drip into the condense just by moving the condense there because it it all follows the same path. Right, so now that that's done and most of it's come out, I'm just gonna undo it a bit more. And you can hear water escaping and moving. There's still quite a bit of water somewhere. I'm just gonna open that PLV again. See if anything comes out. And then we'll just have to clean the PLV out. Take this side off first. So that's out. So I'm just gonna push that out the way. I believe that's out as well. I just need to somehow move the Screw out of the way, there we go. And then I can then move this. I'm gonna move it up and over. Let's put that that way. I'm gonna try and do this one handed, by the way, so don't moan at me. And then hopefully through this way, although that pipe is kind of in the way, but with a bit of maneuverability, just like that, it's out, and I can then just chuck that on there, empty that out, and we can have a look at it. Right, if this will ever focus, I'm just going to switch off my headlamp. Doesn't look blocked. Ooh, okay. Now that is most definitely blocked. I can't get a good view on that, but that is insanely blocked. I'll have to video that later, but my phone is just not doing very well. And we're just going to try and ping out some of these at the back here. And what I'm doing is, oh, look at that. You tuck in and pluck out, right? So I'm just going to go in there, pluck in, and then try and pluck out. I'm using my left hand, which isn't good, so I'll use my right hand. Oh. 
just like you do when you're picking your nose. Oh god, that's in there. Right, let's come out. And then we do the rest. I have to use my strong hand. Ugh, there we go, that's falling out. Right, so I can do this one handed. I've taken some silicon grease there. And I'm just going to grease these up so they stay in. And I'm going to start with the one right at the back there. So that's just going to go in because it's nice and sticky. It's going to stay in there. I'll just do all the rest. It's pretty much going to be the same thing. And again. <laughs> if I can get it off my hands. But as you can see, it's sticky, so that's showing you why we do it. And this one goes all the way at the back. There, that's in, and the last one is this one. That's gonna go there. Now, I just need to grab the new one, and this one shows the upside way, doesn't it? What does this show? I think the difference slightly, yeah. So, the difference is. That one says bottom, and this one says top. And it looks like the same part number. I didn't even see the part number there before. Manufacturer date, something something AG, 97. Yeah, it's the same. Happy days, you can even sort of look at it like that. And they look identical. Right, so now we need to mimic how we got it out in the first place. So I know I tilted this this way and sort of tucked it in somehow. Oop. Nothing like that because that looks like it's a bloody trap now. But something like that goes in straight, and then I think has it straight like that. I just need to tilt it slightly up. Oh, that is sharp, so be careful with that. Yeah, I've really cut myself there. I don't know if you can see that. It's there. Yep, that's from the back of that. Be careful there. And there we go, success. So, almost <laughs> spoke too soon. I do need to lay it flat slightly. Yeah, I need to lay it flat slightly and lift it up just to overcome this bit, let it fall, and bada bing bada boom. Now we can get it in place. I'll probably, I'll probably need two hands for this, so uh, all I've got to do is lift it up and align it. All right, I've lifted it up and kind of aligned it. I'm doing some sort of camera jiu-jitsu here because I have no idea. I'm doing some sort of camera jiu-jitsu at the moment because I've So with this camera jiu-jitsu, I'm just going to tighten that. Right, so that's kind of in place. I'm just going to push that in and tighten that up as well. Don't think that's tightening in. Oh, there we go. It's gripping it just a little bit. Starting to pull it. Starting to pull it forward a bit. That's it. Now the messed up thing here is I've got no one to check if this is gonna leak or not, so I'm gonna have to stand on the water outside 
and just uh, hope and pray that this is all right. I mean, if, if I was doing it here, it would be really great because I could just shut it off somewhere here, but there's, there's just no way to shut it off here. It's really annoying. This is what I always do is just give it a little push because if you think there's pressure behind this, right? It's pr the pressure is pretty much going to push on that. And I always just give it a little push just to see if it can withstand the pressure of my thumb or finger pushing quite hard on it, then it's probably all right. quickly <laughs> don't fall over I did kind of protect the PCB with my jacket. I did put it over there. So hopefully the PCB's all right. It does look dry. Whew. All right, I don't know what happened there then. All right, so I've seen the, I've seen the bloody culprit right there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, fuck, I did not notice that. I mean, from here you can't tell. I definitely didn't feel anything falling out, but yeah. There's the culprit, bastard. All right, well, it's an easy fix, luckily, so <laughs> I was beginning to think maybe I cracked the manifold or something like that. So luckily, nice and easy, we're just gonna do this all over again. All right, happy days, that's all uh, come out. Now I just need to fish for that bit, just behind there somewhere. Bastard and find out which one fell out. So it's the top one that fell out. Oh, God. All right, so that's not really sticking in there properly for some reason, so I'm gonna make sure that's clean. There might be something stopping it. It's not, so I'm just gonna put some extra grease on it. Just gonna grease up a bit more at the back and try to pop it in there. The other ones are in there. Just gonna double check all of them. That's in there, that's in there. Both of them are in there. And we're gonna give it another go now. <laughs> and I'm gonna check before I start that they're all in there. I think where I've been recording, I got a bit distracted. And just, uh, yeah, didn't get it right. But, um, okay, there we go. So I'm trying to do one-handed and record and explain to you. But there's a perfect example of what can go wrong and how to quickly sort it out, I guess. And, uh... Right, I am pretty confident with that. <laughs> but I probably should have checked, I was just... I was just trying to impress you guys, I guess. I don't know. Um, right. Protect the, B the PCB at all costs. So we're going to cover that up again. Right, so we're going to turn off all the water. All the taps that we've left open. And now off. Because if that spins outside too fast. Alright, we're going to do this one again. But this time, we're going to check if that bit spins, so we've got a little bit there. If that spins too much, it's a no-go.
Okay, spinning, it should stop. Stop, damn it. Oh, that's spinning too much. Alright, we're gonna go and check it out again. So I've come back up, but I don't think it has been shooting out of here. It's not wet or anything like it was. Nobody's been in to flush the toilet or anything, so it shouldn't be spinning that quick, but it's panicked me enough. Right, so that's all nice and dry there. I'm gonna turn it back on and leave it on. Then run upstairs. Right, let's do this quickly. Oh, nothing's pissing out. Thank God. Right, we can go turn it on full now. Right, we're not totally out of the woods yet, so we actually have to still fill this up. So I'm gonna unisolate here. I just want to top it up. It's going very slowly, so we'll just let it do its thing. We know it's filling up with water now. We know that because there we go. So it is full of water. And we just need to make sure this is actually working because sometimes these can uh, actually be an issue. So it's past one bar now, which is good. So you know what? I've got confidence in that. I'm gonna fill it up a lot quicker. That's 1.5. There's still water dripping from some of these areas here, which is just residue water. Everything looks great. Now I always like to take a photo of this. So while I'm here, I'll just take a photo of that. And I just clean it out and I uh, put it in my invoice. I put a photo in my invoices to show that something's been done. And then I can say, this is how dirty your system is, or, you know, if it's a filter, you know, look how dirty your system is. And you never know, you know, someone might want a power flush after you show them that. So then you get extra work, don't you? Get on, it's got the little bits there. And it just needs to go onto there. And I'll do that because I need two hands. Right, it's the moment of truth. So first of all, what I'm going to do is figure out how we turn off hot water. Don't want hot water. Sorry, uh, I'll switch off heating. So I'm going to look at that. And I only want the taps on because the taps are fluctuating in temperature. And I'm going to feel what the temperature is like on this. I might actually connect some temperature clamps on there if you want to. And I'm gonna go run a hot tap. First of all, turn this on. Let it do a self check or whatever it needs to do. Make sure nothing leaks. Open up the AAV. It's purging. So we'll just let it do that for a bit. All right, I'm gonna run the bath hot water because if it does overfill or anything like that, it's got quite a big bath. I'm gonna leave that running run upstairs and make sure that everything's going all right. So what I'm doing now, I'm just feeling the pipes. This is still cool. Now last time, this was getting hot. But I can tell now, the domestic hot water pipe is, is very hot and this is cool. Now you just need to let that happen for a bit. Um, I'm going to take a photo of this as well because I'll be plumbing too, so 
the lamb that we can maybe get that change for them. Just gonna let that run. See if that gets hot. Oops. Don't know what happened there. A lot of air. Let me try and get that out. Keep that running. A lot of air. That's basically because I switched off the taps and not let them on as I turned the outside tap on. So I think this is happy days and uh, home time, to be quite honest. So yeah, let's get it done. That's all running all right. I'm actually gonna turn this down just a little bit. That's there. That's back on normal.